our time in the Maldives has come to an end after 30 days for our new destination. To send us some coats, well, a coat each, some jumpers and some stuff over into our address. We are on our way to Serbia. Thank you for staying with us. I hope your stay was amazing. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, housekeeping. That is so nice. But as you can see from that note, our time at Jen by Shangri-La has come to an end, which means our time in the Maldives has come to an end. After 30 days, you would have seen in the last video, we have tested negative. We can leave, we are heading to our brand new destination. After a lot of hassle with Qatar Airways, we have sort of got a refund uh, because going back to the UK just doesn't seem feasible at the minute. And we are heading back to the Balkans. But look at this. I've never seen a bed set up like this for leaving. We've got the swans, the heart, for leaving, only in the Maldives. Hey, thank you very much. We got in the car and we are here at Mali Airport. We're so weird to be back, but a huge thanks to Hotel Gem by Shangri-La for getting us here so quickly. It was honestly like a three minute drive. If you're staying anywhere in Mali, it's the place to stay. It's yeah. by far the best hotel, hands down. Not right near there. everything you need and has some amazing food. I'm actually missing their food already, but this is really, really weird. A, it's empty and B, it's really pitch black and we're not getting on a boat to another island. Bags are dropped and that went possibly smoother than I thought. We had showed our PCR test, which you need to even leave the Maldives, but we also need a PCR for our new destination of Serbia. I don't know why I built up the anticipation, but we are very excited to be heading back to the Balkans. It was somewhere we were gonna be going a few months ago, but now it's come about with the changes and the lockdowns everywhere. Belgrade seems like the best place for us to head to. Such a smooth process. I think it helps with the fact that it's not very busy at the minute because the flight's late at night, but we got through so quickly and we're now at duty free, which is possibly my favorite place. But Serbia was an unexpected destination. As you can tell, we probably only got really short clothes. We've got all of our bikinis. So what we had to do is we had to get Matt's dad to send us some coats, well, a coat each, some jumpers and some stuff over into our address in Serbia. So it has been a very stressful and crazy situation. Guess who forgot to get a magnet? I didn't forget. Basically, I just wasn't that keen on any that I saw. Matt obviously got hit. I was prepared, got it at a local island, local island price. Now you're playing airport price. Look at this though, there's so much stuff here. Are you getting a magnet? Are we getting a magnet? Yeah, I am. Oh my God, no, look at this. I can take a little bit of sand away with us. Oh, that's so cute. And this is pretty much it, Maldives Airport. You have got the duty for it at the start and you've got all your souvenirs in the middle. Um, Molly got hers, so everyone is happy. And then you've got, at the end, you've got Burger King, uh, the coffee club and a couple other places to get a drink. And I think that's pretty much it, it's a small airport. One thing to remember though, the duty free, you can actually buy alcohol on the way out, but you cannot bring any in in your case on the way in. So if you want alcohol in Mali, the only place you're getting it, is when you leave. Hello. Hi. Thank you. So after 30 days, that was loud, eight different islands, our time in the Maldives is coming to an end. We're actually flying fly Dubai for the first time. It's like Emirates budget airline, I think. So I'm not expecting too much. Pleasantly surprised. to the lovely lady that was staying in our hotel. She gave us a row each and I slept the whole way. I never sleep on planes. I've slept the whole way. We have made it to Dubai. We now have, I think, a six hour layover, something ridiculous like that. Um, but everything's open. I didn't think it would be. It's like 3.30 in the morning for the airport here. Everything is open. I think even just to come through connecting, you need to have a PCR test. Um, I need to find some food. I think from last time they got a McDonald's here, 
and I haven't any fast food in forever. First fast food in forever. I feel like we've sat down about to do like a McDonald's review <laughs> video. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I am um, starving, I'm tired. But I've noticed that across the road from McDonald's there is a hard rock. How long has it been since we've been in this terminal, like in this a year. airport? Once so, we flew back from the Philippines. I think last time we came here, the hard rock was being built and it wasn't quite finished. Uh, mm -hmm. And we were really gutted, weren't we? Yeah. Now, so, it's open. Mm -hmm. I think but we couldn't McDonald's. miss the McDonald's. Oh, that's good though. Have a McDonald's, let it go down a bit, and then contemplate whether <laughs> to have a hard rock. Because I'm not sure if there's a hard rock in Belgrade. It and might we, be. It and might we be a hard did, rock in Belgrade. We did miss the food on the plane, so. McDonald's absolutely slumped us. We ended up finding these sort of ish flat chairs, kind of flat, and we have slept for the last two hours. That's kind of mad because we never sleep at airports and it was just really, really strange. We must have been super tired, but they are actually redoing the airport. There's certain things that they're changing. Uh, it's changed since we've been here, like I said earlier. So they are improving it and I don't know what they're doing, but they've got some new seating area, which looks really, really fancy. It's like an area where if you need to get work done, you can go and sit down. It's got like AstroTurf and really cool chairs. But we're walking to the gate now. Time has gone really, really quickly. It's half past seven, we board in half an hour. We are on our way to Serbia. I am so tired, but so ready to get on our last plane of the day. So there is no screens or charging ports on this plane. I think it's a newer one as well, which is a bit confusing, but the one earlier had screens and they didn't work anyway. Um, and I think it's about six hours or so to Belgrade without any entertainment. Nothing downloaded on my phone. <laughs> so I'm prepared. Thank you. Bye bye. We are back in the Balkans. I'm actually so, so excited. It is freezing though. Getting off the plane was <laughs> incredibly cold. I'm hoping that the parcels sent from home have arrived to the hotel that we are heading to, but we are waiting for the bags now. Coolest baggage collection ever here at Belgrade Airport. The bags come out the boot of a car. Yeah, like, <laughs> like what sense does that make? It's really, it's really unique. Um, but yeah, get our bags. Flight was really good. Fly Dubai, this mask won't stay on. Fly Dubai was actually Really, really good for a budget airline. Uh, one meal, as much drink as you want. Not alcoholic, but being back in a country where you can drink, I can have a beer tonight. Possibly the quickest baggage claim ever. We have our bags and we have met the owner of the hotel we are staying at. We're staying at the Prince Paul Palace Hotel in Belgrade. We are really excited to explore, but I can't lie, I am pretty knackered. He said that the weather has actually is actually going to be good for today and tomorrow, which is really good because as we've mentioned, our package was supposed to have been sent a few days ago. It has our coat, some jumpers and things like that in. So we really, really need, I don't think we can really stroll the streets in our Maldives clothes. So fingers crossed the package comes soon. We have made it here to the Prince Hall Palace Hotel in Belgrade. It is right on the main shopping street. And does it feel weird to be in a city? It's really weird. Really, really weird. It took about half an hour from the airport. And I think that's because we mainly didn't expect it to take that long. We're used to boat rides at the minute. We're not used to getting in a car and spending time on the road. But we are, like I said, we're right on the main pedestrian street. We are here. This is our room. I'm doing our room tour. So we have our big double bed. They've left little chocolates everywhere. There's chocolates and, everywhere. Did you get one in reception? Yeah, yeah and that one. is because uh, basically down the bottom here in the building, there is the 
oldest manufacturer or factory manufacturer of candy they call it here um in belgrade so we have some here that is is that complimentary let me have a look well i don't know it looks nice though and on the back it's got all the things that you should see which is really cool but we have a tv we have kettle they've given us water a little welcome sign and we have our bathroom are you right, doing the bathroom i'm doing the bathroom dog? so let me put them down there really nice modern toilet sink one mirror two mirrors oh really big walking shower I'm sorry excited. i'm just looking at the chocolate <laughs> <laughs> you can have one now. It definitely feels really surreal to be back in the Balkans after being in the Maldives yesterday, but before we do anything, I'm trying. Molly said no, I'm trying one of these chocolates. They look so good. I don't know what flavours they're gonna be. And on the back, it gives you different facts and different sights to see in Belgrade, which we will see from tomorrow. It's been a very long travel day, heading all the way from the Maldives to Belgrade. That, yeah. Out of nowhere. This wasn't this wasn't planned. This has come out of nowhere. So I need to do some planning for our exploring. Probably tomorrow. We might pop out in a bit though, because they do do beer in Belgrade, and I'm very. Oh, that's good. Mmm, it's like cherry. But yeah, might relax for a bit, and then maybe I'm not promising anything. Go on a beer hunt. Thank you, Zaji Chasko Pivo, a Serbian. A Serbian lager. We were too jet lagged, too tired to head out to a bar. So instead, we popped to the shop uh, and, and we do. found this. Yeah, apparently it is one of the more popular beers in Serbia. We're not too sure yet because we haven't been to a bar. So we it will might find be. out. We basically went in there and said, can we have Serbian beer, please? And they took <laughs> us to this, so. It's not even in English, so it took us some time to sort of research exactly what it was. Are we gonna do a taste test real quick? Oh, went all over sorry. Me. Oh well, beer shower. Giveli. Nice. Giveli, mm. It's good, and. Yeah. Burek, back in the Balkans. Cheap, cheerful. Basically dinner tonight. We've got three types. We've got potato, we've got cheese, and we have spinach. Yes. And that is basically us. Jet lagged. Perfect way to start Serbia. Back in the Balkans, beer and berek. You cannot go wrong. Mm, tastes so good. But we have a full day planned tomorrow. We are going to be exploring the best sites of Belgrade. I'm sure. I am really, really excited. And the best beer. I was about to say, it's probably going to be more beer, more berek. In Belgrade. See you tomorrow.